Welcome back to Big 12 Basketball Media Days. The Kansas Jayhawks coming off a 20 and 13 season, making it to the second round of the NCAA tournament, led once again by Brandon Schneider, who now joins us at the set. Coach, been covering you for a long time, and it really seems like over the last three years, this team has really turned the corner and gotten into a groove. How does it feel? How does it look from your perspective? Well, I think it's uh, it's an exciting time to be part of basketball at the University of Kansas. Um, you know, we're, we're looking forward to, you know, now having a standard uh, that we can aspire to help uphold on a daily basis. And I uh, just want to be a program that's consistently competitive on the national scene. You know, you have one of the best freshmen ever to wear the Kansas jersey and Samaya Nichols now in her sophomore season. Tell us a little bit about her play and what um, this year looks like for her. You know, I think her versatility is what makes her really special. Um, can do a lot of things on the offensive end, can guard multiple positions. Um, we found out probably a little bit later than we wanted to in the season last year. Um, the, the advantage that she gave us when we allowed her to be the ultimate decision maker on the floor. Mm -hmm. And I think um, she just likes to make others better uh, and, and has the opportunity, obviously, to go create her own shot as well. What's the ceiling for her when you look at her long term prospects? Well, I, I, I think she's a, a future WNBA player. Um, you know, a lot of work to do uh, from uh, in the next few years, but uh, she, she has the mentality, she has the skill set, she has the work ethic um, to, to play at the next level, in, in my mind, no question. That's right. You know, your team it looks a little bit different than last year, graduating some incredible players, four-year um, players and seniors. Tell us what you brought in from the transfer portal and how kind of you're transforming from playing that game around 6'6", Tiana Jackson, into more of a guard-focused game. Yeah, eight new players, um, <laughs> you know, three freshmen, uh, five transfers. Um, we, we definitely have reinvented ourselves offensively, a lot more five out, space the floor. Uh, we'll play a little bit smaller at times at the five position, um, which I think can be really fun on the offensive end. Uh, my big concerns are how we're going to guard in the paint on the other end. Mm -hmm. When you talk about adding players through the portal in this day and age, how much of a benefit is that? Because when you graduated in the past, a player like Tiana Jackson or Zakiya Franklin, you may have to wait a while to find the next one. Now no. you can bring in players immediately and hope they work out? Well, I, I think they have real numbers and real film. Uh, <laughs> you know, when you've talk, you talk about a player like L. Evans, who comes to us from North Dakota State, um, you know, has got really good numbers, um, play, played in a good conference, but also played, you know, against some, some power five teams. Uh, so I just think uh, it's an opportunity to have a better evaluation uh, during that time of the year. I'm excited to watch Elle play. She's that 6'3", long guard that you want, being able to shoot that three-pointer. But you also have a really great transfer in Brittany Harshaw. Tell us a little bit about her game. And I know you said she had a really great uh, offseason this last year. She's, uh, Brittany's flourished, um, you know, since the day she stepped on campus. I think, uh, you know, her confidence is continuing to grow. Um, she's somebody that, you know, we're going to ask to do a lot of things. Again, versatile, can really shoot the three. Um, 6'1", can guard mm -hmm multiple positions so um, she's created a lot of value for herself since the time that she stepped on campus. I'm going to ask the next question for my <laughs> friend Big J right here. Uh, Big J wants to know what do you oh, think yeah. about the changes the conference has gone through over the last few years especially since Brett Yormark has taken over. We have added some some terrific women's basketball programs, no question. Um, you know, some spots that we've not traveled to yet. So I just saw Brett, and I said, look, I need a text on, you know, what are the best steakhouses in, in these new cities that we're going to be traveling to? <laughs> that's right. That's right. And you just had um, your Kansas Jayhawk night at the Fog. Tell us a little bit about that. I know you guys just went through some major renovations on one of the most historic arenas in college basketball. Yeah, I, I would say the most historic. Yeah, I was the most to, historic. That's to, right. To right uh, yeah, um, <laughs> you know some some terrific enhancements. Mm -hmm. uh, you know to what we all uh, have already felt was the best basketball venue in the world. Mm -hmm. So um, a lot of responsibility when you step on James Naismith Court mm -hmm. to represent Kansas and the best and the game of basketball in the right way. Yeah. I feel like you just started in the Big 12, but now you're one of the elder statesmen <laughs> of the conference. How does that role feel? Yeah, I think it's, uh, you know, Mitty um, and then obviously uh, Finley, Finley yeah. um, you know, who uh, has been in the conference forever. So, um, 
you know, you just uh, try to get better as a little bit better each and every day. When you see those two coaches you mentioned, Fenley and Midia, who've been around even longer, what does it mean to you when you see how long they've not only been around but been successful in different eras of college basketball? Well, I, I think competition makes you better. And um, whether it's coaching against Bill Finley, whether it was coaching against um, Tar Vanderveer in the NCAA tournament or Kim Mulkey mm -hmm. when she was at Baylor, you know, it's an opportunity to, to compete and learn from the best. And um, I'd like to think that my game continues to grow as well. <laughs> well, well, it definitely did. At the end of the last season, you went 10 and three. You guys just kept getting better and better. Looked like even your younger players really kind of understood the Jayhawk tradition and program. So you're one of those coaches as well. We really appreciate your time. And this guy's been up here literally you like 10 times. Home? So is this is, he's taken over. All right, let's send the <laughs> He's getting his air time. Yeah, he's getting the air time for sure. And is there with Samaya Nichols, Hannah? <laughs> Alex, thanks so much. Samaya, what a freshman season you had averaging over 15 points per game. And you got yourself a spot on this year's preseason All Big 12 team. Congratulations on that. How are you building up for a successful sophomore season? Thank you. Um, for real, just putting the work in this past summer. Um, we got eight new players, so we're really just working together, trying to succeed this whole season. When you have eight new players, how do you work to build that chemistry on and off the court? First, we start off the court. Um, speaking of that, tonight we have um, pumpkin painting tonight. How fun! Um, but starting off the court, you know, we go see a whole bunch of movies together. We go and eat dinner together, lunch. Um, we make dinner together. And then when it comes to on the court, that's when you're there for them. But that's when you also give them that sense of I'm on you, but like I'm on you because I want us to be good, you know. Absolutely. And going back to on the court last season, you set freshman records in free throws and free throw attempts. What do you like about playing such a physical style of your game? I feel like I strive off like the physical physicality of the game. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like I strive off that. Um, it's really what gets me going. I feel like if I don't have the contact, then later in the game when I do get the contact, then it's like, well, now I'm shocked. Like, I don't want to be shocked. I want it to be aggressive from the jump, and let's get this stuff started. Where does that aggressive mindset come from? You know, I have no clue because I am very <laughs> bubbly. I'm very smiley. I smile on the court, and I just do weirdly aggressive things. I don't know. How do you balance that bubbly personality alongside with that aggressive mindset and just attacking those opponents? Yeah, um, I feel like on the court there's, just, there's no friends. Um, I have many friends within the Big 12, but at the end of the day, it's all about the team. And if aggression, if aggression is what wins, you know, that's what we're gonna do. There's no longer that record-setting super senior group like Sakaya Franklin and Tayana Jackson. How are you filling that void this season, and who have you seen step up? Uh, we've had many step ups. Um, of course, we have Yvette who stepped up. Uh, we have Elle Evans. We have Brittany Harshaw, um, and then we we also have Sanaya Copeland as well. We have a lot of perimeter depth, and uh, they stepped up as leaders. Um, and on the court, they just show that they are very determined. Like before practice, they're on the court shooting tons of shots before we even start practice, and then after practice. Just shooting more. Literally last night, I walked into Allen, maybe like around nine o'clock, and I saw Brittany Harshall shooting shots in Allen, and I just love to see that. Well, maybe a fun team outing could be heading over to Andy's Frozen Custard. Oh. I saw on your roster profile that you are a big fan of Andy's. What's your go-to order? My go-to Andy's order, it's a stolen brownie sundae, no cherry, and then add pecans. And then you have to make the brownie warmer. Like I'm like, can you make the brownie extra warm? <laughs> I love warm? that. But I love Andy's. I love Andy's. Well, Samaya, now I'm starving. Andy's, if you're watching this, please send some over to our set yes, right please. here at the T-Mobile Center. Samaya, appreciate the time. Best of luck in your sophomore season. Thank you. Alex?